Exploring the habit of breaking bread, it's important to remember that this is the only habit that Luke mentions twice in Acts 2, 42 to 47, that Luke talks about the disciples breaking bread at home. Luke is ambiguous. Was he referring to an embryonic act of what we might now call Holy Communion? Or was he talking about the simple act of breaking bread as part of the meal, which was infused with new significance because of what Jesus has done? That's a really important exploration to undertake. My favourite story about breaking bread in the book Holy Habits involves a former Methodist president of conference and a homeless person in the city of Sheffield called Albert. Albert, the homeless person, got various pieces of bread out of his bag and shared them with Indigit, explaining the significance of the bread and what they meant to him. And in that encounter, on a bench in a city centre with a minister and a homeless person, the presence of Jesus was realised. The holy habit of breaking bread has always been a central part of our life together. Part of a united and uniting church is that of the Churches of Christ. And I like their understanding of the sacrament and the breaking of bread as taking central place in an act of worship. Yeah. I think for me one of the great messages of Bread Church is that it's for everybody and for anybody. Anybody can start a Bread Church, it really isn't that difficult. When the dough's made there's a rising time and that's the time when people just chat about life, about faith and that's, that's a real gift of this and I would say that that taking that time is one of the things that any group, any church can get involved in. All you really need is an oven and a few bowls to start with uh, and, and a bread recipe and off you go. So breaking bread for me is a statement in which we say collectively our living together would be governed by a different kind of economy. The economy of abundance, the economy of generosity, and any kind of economy around us in our communities and beyond our communities that can justify or is premised on scarcity is a scandal to the table way, to the Jesus way. One cannot eat bread around that table and not change and transform. It must imply a way of being that embodies a habit that then struggles against all of empire that wants to say that here is an economy of the world which may be governed by principles that may appear as logic to many of us. The table of Jesus Christ and the breaking of bread is saying, here is a different logic. In the breaking of bread, in the blessing of bread, and in the sharing of bread, we are giving away rather than commodifying something to make profit. It's a subversive act. Unfortunately, over the years, I think that the church and we as churches, we have domesticated the meal Exploring the holy habit of breaking bread, it's an opportunity to think about how we can break bread in different ways. Maybe around our family meal table at the end of each day. Maybe with a colleague we meet at work. Perhaps with somebody we meet in the canteen in the hospital. It may or may not be uh, a full experience of Holy Communion. It might simply be the practice of breaking bread. 
and recognizing the presence of Jesus. Thank you.